not thinking about it. <laughs> Taking one day at a time, trying to look on the bright side of life, having my grandchildren and my great grandchildren. My dad, of course, worked for DuPonts. He had a nervous breakdown. He lost all of his money. Mm -hmm. Then he went to Cuba, and mother and dad broke up. We had two aunts. One aunt took my mother and my sister in, and I went with my other aunt. And then I went away with a girl's band, got on my feet, and married your grandfather. I was 30, oh, 23. No, 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 I was 21, I'm sorry. It was, ex well, at first being on my own, yes, yeah, I was very homesick and everything, and things were so different then. That first job I had, you had to play until every customer left. Sometimes it would be five o'clock in the morning, I'd be going upstairs to the apartment. We got $10 a week, room and board. <laughs> we, lived, we lived right on the premises, you know. And at midnight, she'd give us a cheese sandwich. I'll never forget that. Cheese sandwich at midnight. We had lunch and dinner. We didn't get any breakfast because we worked so late and everything. But then after that, we'd go on the beach and sleep on the beach and then go back to our job at nighttime. That was the Golden Gate Girls, huh? All the nightclubs closed. Uh, this was in Anglesey, right outside of Wallwood, you know? Oh, yeah. And the nightclubs would close, and everybody would come up to this nightclub because it was like a speakeasy. You knock on the door. But that time, I didn't know it was a speakeasy, you know? That's what it was, a speakeasy. But as I say, we didn't know it at the time, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, the older people knew it, but they... And then you d I danced and I sang, and they threw money at you, you know? So, <laughs> anyway. I do like sweets. I've eaten a lot of chocolate in my life, yes. I still do. <laughs> I ate four yep. pieces of that candy before you came. <laughs> I just opened the box. Actually, I don't realize I'm a hundred or something, you know, it hasn't dawned on me yet, I guess. This being a hundred, I guess the best thing about it, <laughs> that's it, you know. The worst thing about it being a hundred is if people know you're a hundred right away, they start talking to the other person instead of you, talking about you to the other person. In other words, you want to still feel independent, I'll put it that way. I think doing that depression bit with my mom and dad, that was really bad. And of course, losing my husband and my best years were with the kids, having the kids and enjoying their growing up, stuff like that. I loved my scooter. I just loved my scooter. And of course, I had my monkeys. Funny boy used to, if I tried to swing at all, he used to hold on to the rope so I couldn't swing. My dad loved one because he used to carry one on the boat all the time when he was captain of the tugboat. 1950, very small, and it had a, the show was a woman riding on an elevator <laughs> for dog races, for wrestling, things like that. And uh, that was the first TV, but we were glued to it because I thought it was wonderful. Yes, very well. Your granddad and I walked up and down Marcus Street, Philadelphia, and we went in the different bars just to see all the commotion and everything. I guess that was when I first got married in 1930. And our house was attached to the garage. The garage held 10 cars, two, two stores, two floors of cars. They had their own gas station, our own water tower, everything, you know. Telephones when nobody else had phones. Oh, DuPonts are very famous. They're one of the wealthiest people in the whole country. He was captain of their boats, and he was in charge of all their cars, and in charge of the estate, really, you know. And they gave, on this one wedding in particular, I remember they gave us a little satin box with fruitcake in it. 
and that was good. And Mrs. DuPont was fond of music, so she had a music teacher come out there once a month. Dad would have all the cars cleaned out of the garage and everything like that. And all the employees of the whole estate would come. They'd all sing to Mr. Wyatt. It was the music that she sang. She had that once a month. The mansion was on the top of the hill, and we lived right at the bottom of the hill. Haven't you ever been out there? No. No, I haven't been out there. We'll have to go out someday. I find when you get older, you have a lot more patience, and you're, you're more forgiving for for different things. I mean, if something hurts you, you, you forget about it easier. Well, you don't forget about it, but you just want to be nicer all the time or something, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we squat on the back the of the chair. No, oh, we have to do it 10 times. Uh, on this chair or not. Sure. Now, how, do you, how do you do it? Like this? You spin it around like this? Okay. Oops, good. Like that, you do that. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's enough. <laughs> so, you're gonna do one squat? Okay, you don't have to squat anymore. This way, but hold it on the chair too. The chair's like that. And this way here, you do that. You can take your hand. That's exercising. 